Hi and welcome to my very first tutorial. So apologize if I'm somewhat stuck in talking here. Um, in this tutorial, I will show you how to change the textures of certain objects in the source unpack version of portal. Um, I got my source unpack folder right here. Um, first of all, you may ask where the heck are the texture files? So um, open up the, the source unpack folder. So here it is. Um, then go to portal materials and basically every texture you see in game is in one of these folders. So it's just a matter of finding them in these folders. So for this tutorial, I will change my, my, uh, my cube. So not the companion cubes, but the, the, uh, the default, the standard version of the cube a little bit, because I'm not very happy with it, like, uh, how, with it, uh, like it's looking right now. So uh, let me start a portal and show you how it's looking right now. Oh, God damn it. I forgot to start steam. Uh, let me start steam real quick. Shouldn't take very long, so yeah, apologizes. I'm not very, um, yeah, uh, I'm not prepared for this video right now. I just thought, give it a try and let's see how I do there. I mean, I can edit it later on. But yeah, so now we are here in Portal and let me start up chamber four because there we have a cube. And as you can see, I changed quite a lot of textures in, in this game a little bit right now. Um, yeah, this is basically my, my current cube. So I thought the idea of making it a little bit darker and uh, with the high contrasts on the uh, accents and stuff like that would be neat, but I'm not happy how it turned out in the end. So in this tutorial, I will edit it a little bit more or less or something. I will change it. Let's put it that way. So yeah, um, to change exactly the, uh, the, the texture of the cube, uh, you have to go to materials where we currently are, models, props, and then there is this, where is it? There, the metal box VTF. The VTF stands for Valve Texture File. Shouldn't bother us really now. Oh, but you can't open it with anything uh, in, in your standard or default uh, version of um, Windows. So uh, let me real quick open a desktop and this folder again because we need the little program called VTF edit. I think I'll put a link in the description for it. So it's not your messing up with searching all the stuff. Steam puts me an announcement, ignore it. Thank you. So drag and drop the, the VTF file into it. And now here we have the, the, the current version of my cube. Well, it's basically a square, an image with stuff like that. Uh, to edit this file, actually, we have to export it as an image and reload it afterwards. But for now, because uh, I want to change it a little bit and stuff like that, uh, I'll export it for myself as a TGA file. Um, you could export it as bitmap, as JPEG, as PNG, or as TGA file. Um, for me, TGA uh, is the convenient way because it's linked in, in the system configuration to open up uh, Photoshop with it. Um, sometimes uh, PNG files won't work correctly. I will show that in, in a moment. So let's export it there. And there we got my file. If I open up it, uh, if I open it up in Photoshop, there it is. And to show you how some of the um, PNGs are 
a little bit broken. Let me load up the default metal box. That's this one. It looks a little bit different and if I export it as PNG and open it up with the default, yeah, you see it's basically just this little part down there. I don't know why it happens, so I recommend to export it as either as TGA, JPEG or bitmap. These three definitely work. PNG files some, somehow are broken. So uh, let me rename this real quick. Default, there we go. Delete the broken PNG and minimize it for now. So let me open up this one as well. After you edit it, uh, the, the image, like let me just edit it real quick with a little bit of stupid weird stuff just to show you how it works in general. So yay, now we have our cube with a little bit of weird stuff going on. Export as PNG, put it with transparency uh, and convert it in sRGB. Export it, I will export it to my desktop right now. And then after you got your image edited, import the image with uh, VTF edit again. There's my image, open it up. Don't change anything in here, please don't, because somehow things are getting messy there. So because we have a transparency channel, there's the 8-bit alpha uh, automatically ticked, but you will have to tick the sRGB channel there too, because we converted it in an sRGB color spectrum. After that, save the, uh, the or go to file and save it. This will create an, an, a VTF file for us. We put it in source unpack into portal, materials, models, props, and scroll down to the metal box VTF. Replace it. Yes, I want to replace it. And after that, if we start a portal again, why ever portal now has a, other, a different background there, it's fine for now. And now let me show you the new version of the cube. There it is. It looks weird and ugly, but yeah. So that's basically how you edit the, the texture files. You can animate texture files. Um, let me show you real quick how that's done. So let me go into Photoshop again and reverse this. Let me give me another color, make some different stuff, export it as, we can basically use fast export there. Um, rename this again. And then let me put another weird stuff on this. Export it again as another image. Because uh, if you want to animate textures, you have to create every frame of the animation yourself. So basically you're putting out um, every frame of the animation yourself load them all together now in VTF edit. So I will import from my desktop all the four metal box files I have just created. Open it up, don't change anything in here. VTF edit automatically recognizes that are the multiple frames there. And if I play it, it looks right now like this because 
VTF edit has no uh, idea how fast the, the animation should be played. Convert it in sRGB again and save it as, you see my path is currently set there. So if I save it now, it replaces the, the file correctly. Let me go to, oh, I closed it again, damn it. Uh, let me go to the materials, the models, the props, and scroll down to a little file that's called Metalbox VMT. This VMT file you can open up in any, uh, any editor you want. Um, don't change anything in the top area of that, but you uh, will have to copy paste a little bit of code. Um, I'll put the code you have to copy paste in the description of this video for the ease of it. Um, so let me put it like that. So you basically type in these proxies, uh, curly brackets, animated texture, curly brackets. And the, the part you're looking for is down here, the animated texture frame rate. This determines uh, how fast the animation will be played. If you put it like now for two frames, it will change uh, the, the texture according to the next frame we just created in the VTF file um, every half a second because um, the frame rate is how yeah, I guess you know how frame rates work, actually. So if I put it to, to two, let me show you how it looks like. I saved it real quick now. Let me open a portal again. Come on, portal, thank you. So there we go. And as you can see, the cube changes its texture every half second. So one little thing that's note about, uh, uh, or I wanna note about this is, if I edit anything on the texture file or the, the VMT file, like let me put this to 10 to make your eyes go ah, um, you can always um, reload the materials without restarting portal with, MAT reload all materials. That will take a little uh, while, but after that, basically all of all textures are reloaded and updated and stuff like that. I don't like this cube actually. It's somehow funny, but actually I don't like it. And that's the reason why I added it uh, a little more after my talking here and I will put this in a time lapse then. Yeah, but um, so far, thanks for watching and um, leave a like if you liked it, uh, leave a comment if it helps you how to edit this stuff or what I uh, should explain a little bit more or what you've, uh, what you wished for to get us information from this video and stuff like that. Um, so then, see ya.